uh, he said it three times. What about Benghazi? It has been totally swiped under the rug. Swept under the rug. Never heard about it again. And therefore, for that, I want you to go. I want you to go with me on cruise now. Uh, that's a bunch of bullshit that he's not eligible to run. You think a man smart as him don't, and a lawyer don't know whether he and knows the Constitution like he does? You think he don't know enough to know whether he's eligible or not? Bullshit. Uh, that that's some uh, that's somebody like Bush uh, feeding bullshit or Bush's cronies. So uh, we we want to get uh, hell. Uh, you know, there was that bunch of son of bitches in there, if they had their way, they'd put Bush in there. They want another Bush in there so they can tell him what to do. We don't want no more Bushes. We two of them son of bitches. We, we want somebody else. We want a Trump or a Cruz. And uh, now, now Cruz, will, uh, Trump will do, but I'd rather have Cruz. Next on the mic. That uh, that hill she's she's got a bad cough. If y'all noticed that, and and they had a medical doctor said last night she had brain. Uh, uh, I see these damn bubbles in her arteries up in her brains, and that they knew that to be a fact. Now, as far as Wall Street, I'm on Wall Street myself, even though I'm down here in Texas. Hell, my living's made from stocks. And I play the stock market to make a living, so I know a little about the stock market, don't you? Now, I'm going to tell you something else, too, uh, Duncan. Let me just uh, enlighten you. I, I, I worked in the oil field. I'm what they call the oil field trash. And that that's another word, uh, kind of being like white trash, you know, but a little worse. But let me tell you something. I could get up, I could have got up and run for president and said every, and I would have said every damn thing that Trump said, and you know what? I don't even have a college education, and I'll be damned if I wouldn't have been the front runner. I'd have been up there uh, just uh, ranting and raring and carrying on, had the Pope talking about me and everything else. So uh, uh, get get off uh, get off that. Nobody said nothing about a woman not being intelligent. Hell, we all know they are. We all know that women are tougher than men, smarter than men. So get off of it and uh, go, Cruz, go. Come on, proud. Tell them where I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I was talking about before, Benghazi's still kind of tormenting my mind. I haven't moved away from it, as well as Hillary Rodham Clinton and her inappropriate usage of uh, email clients. But what I wanted to bring up today was marijuana legalization. When are we going to see a coherent policy from this government regarding marijuana legalization? And when I talk about marijuana legalization, I'm not talking about legalization. I'm talking about making it illegal. I'm talking about pushing it back into the background of society. It should have no place around our schools and around our uh, our cities. It should be it should be something that is completely illegal. I personally support the uh, the death penalty for people who who use, trade, or celebrate the usage of marijuana. On top of that, Benghazi is still a huge issue. And I think it hasn't been adequately discussed by the participants in this discussion. Cocaine and heroin, I'm okay with, you know. They're kind of they're kind of a bit more hip. But marijuana, I think we should exterminate marijuana from our, uh, from our society. And, uh, yeah, that's my opinion. You can feel free to hate me on it because this great country, we are allowed our freedom of opinion, our freedom of speech. I'm as smart as a garbage can. Your name is wise underscore 49. The number in my name is 96. That's that's like 43 higher than yours. So don't don't be talking smack, kid. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's all I had to say this evening. And uh, before I le leave, I just want to bring back the conversation to Benghazi and Hillary Rodham Clinton. And all the terrible evilness she's done to this country using Outlook Express instead of the Outlook, the paid version. Abbasi, listen, I'm, I'm just going to say this really quickly. Although I do respect your your view and your opinion, I must, I, I must respectfully disagree with you. You cannot put marijuana as a worse detriment than cocaine, heroin, or crystal meth. You cannot do that. Or crack cocaine, you can't. There is no way, shape, or form that that even makes one 
ounce of sense. Ma the, the side effects of marijuana are very simple. Happy, horny, hungry, sleepy. That's it. So, and you know, your ideology and, and your thinking pattern just bewilders me, to be honest with you. You keep ragging Donald Trump there, Mr. Graff. You're going to find my fist in your face, boy. Hallelujah, Jesus. God bless America. Donald Trump. Pat. And we're going to get a bunch of fucking towel heads in there. Oh, don't say that, Zep. That is a toss in here. Do not use that. Come right back to the mic. I'm not going to talk. I realize what I said as I said it. I apologize. I, I, I never purposely do slurs in this room. But, uh... That's what we're going to get in here. And it's going to put this country to another step towards a third world nation. Like, Donald Trump become... No, Donald Trump should not become a Hollywood producer. He should become America's greatness producer. Honestly, Donald J. Trump, like I said, Donald Justice Trump. He's what we need for America. Freedom, you can go next if you want, or trees potting, whatever, whatever you guys want to do. That That's just what I think. Uh, like I said before, my problem with Big Daddy government is that most likely what's going to happen is it's my griefing videos are going to be outlawed. <laughs> Even though it's perfectly legal in the Constitution to make it... Is anybody else hearing some psychotic screaming in the background when this guy is talking? Or is, okay, alright, thank you. Dude, what is that screaming? I'm going to give you the mic back so don't run away. And what is a griefing video? Please explain in, in uh, as short a time as you can. What is a griefing video? And what is that screaming behind you? Your mic, sir. Oh, uh, well, my uh, parents are watching a movie behind me. It's uh, Psycho 2, actually. But a griefing video is basically a video where I make it... I'm trying to explain it. I've been doing it for so long, but it's really hard to, to explain specifically. But I go in a game. I go in a game. Yeah, none of that shit. You've been on the mic more than three minutes already. Don't do that. See? Now, that's one since, uh, what's it, JFK was killed. See, JFK was trying to say that to be free, to be, what's it, a human being, you got to unclutter your mind, right, of all these paranoid ideas, right, and of course embrace humanity, right, and of course that's the only way. To be really free, right, you cannot have, what's it, uh, I mean, a paranoid mind, isn't it? If you have a paranoid mind, right, you got to perpetuate what? You got to perpetuate more, what's it, the wars, more covert operations, more what's it, the uh, black assass uh, assassination, etc., or what's the dark uh, covert, what's the, all these operations, and of course, what will be the final result? You know it, war, yes, world war, and of course, America is trying to make a world war again, isn't it? If, if we're gonna elect a why would we elect a person who can't even manage an email account? Is... Huey Lewis? You like Huey Lewis in the news? In, in 87, Huey released this for their most accomplished album. I think their hip single, Hip To Be Square, is a... Uh, is obviously the best track on the uh, on the album, but yeah, I was going on about Hillary Clinton and Benghazi. In my opinion, Bernie Sanders is literally the Rule 63 version of Hillary Clinton. It's just in all Jew format because he's also a Freemason, and that's all I want to say. So, don't forget to vote, especially for Trump. 2016.